Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. Many of you have been asking lately about opening up a new zoo, and that is something I've been thinking about, but I think Elite Zoo North still has some loving that it needs, let's put it that way. Uh, we're making money, you know, visitors are coming, we've got a decent star rating, but there's so many more animals to add, there's so many more plans that we've discussed already, uh, so there's still a lot to do at Elite Zoo North before we open up our upcoming zoos or anything like that. Let me know you guys' thoughts on that, of course, as always, I'm always looking for feedback on, uh, you know, big decisions that we're making, uh, but I personally think that, for now at least, uh, let's keep our, our, our focus uh, sort of honed in on the one zoo, make it as good as possible before we start thinking about other options. Now, today is going to be a very, very busy day. Oh dear, more more alpha already fighting for alpha status, or is this just the same notification? I think this is the same notification that just hasn't gone away. Um, anyway, set that aside. Let's take a look at this. Habitat 4 has no keepers assigned to it. Yes, actually, this is something uh, you guys mentioned uh, in droves in the comments. Uh, thank you again for doing that. Somehow, I don't know how it happened, but somehow, I managed to completely miss out on uh, on this whole work zone thing. So first of all, let's go ahead and give you guys America's North as the assignment. And America's North should include... There we go. Yeah, not sure what happened there. Not sure why it wasn't included the first time. But it is now. Yes, so we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, so again, thanks for pointing it out. Uh, little things like that sometimes get missed, and, uh, and, and I appreciate it. Now, before I dive into all the work we have to do today, as always, I want to make a very quick mention of thanks to everybody that has been watching along. Uh, it's great to see so much company. It's great to see all your you know thoughts and feedback. I want to mention, as always, that if you've been enjoying the series, do make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. It helps me make decisions for the channels. Uh, I, I take a look at your uh, comments. I read through them all. It makes a big difference in how I approach things. And I take a look at the number of likes and comments just to get an idea of interest levels for a series. So keep them coming, folks. Keep letting me know if you would like to see more of Planet Zoo on the channel. Uh, that is definitely the best way to do it, just leaving those likes and comments. Uh, and like I said, I do read through all the comments, and they do give me very helpful feedback. Sometimes... Some things just don't occur to me, or uh, I don't realize uh, I, I made a mistake, like this one-way glass facing the wrong direction. Wait, no, this is... No, 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 it's facing the right direction. Because the other way around... Yeah, this is this is the right direction, because... No, wait, hold on, no, this is the wrong direction. Whoops. So how do I how do I flip this around? Hmm. It used to... Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Left side? No. Right side? No. Both sides? No. Oh, cl that's climb proof. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. It'd, it'd be helpful to actually read the words. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, thank you. Like, like I said, sometimes it's just um, a matter of uh, not realizing something because I'm quickly placing it down, trying to make sure that everything is, you know, fun to watch and whatnot. And sometimes uh, you lose a track of, 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 of little things because you're... Or I, I should say, I personally am so worried about, oh no, people are going to get bored because I'm spending so much time on this menu screen. Anyway, so thank you. Thank you for all the feedback and thoughts I get in the comments. Now, like I was saying, there's quite a few things that we need to take care of today. Um... I'm going to start with some of the management stuff. There is a fair bit of beautification that needs to be done as well, and uh, you're very much right in the comments. I am starting to regret not having these be wider paths right from the beginning, but I think the opportunity is there to widen this path up uh, because there's nothing else intersecting this area. So we'll do that, uh, get our canopy and stuff going. Anyway, there's a lot to do. So so let's, let's do it um, while talking about it. First of all, though, what's this? What have we got over here? Have at least 700 guests in the zoo. Wow. 2Gs. That's another 2Gs. Uh, yeah, we're at 863. 1,000's got to be the next uh, milestone, one would imagine, one would think. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and start over here. Now, many of you have been pointing out that the tortoises have needlessly been uh, hungry and, and, and thirsty, and it's likely because as they make their way over, this is like an hour, sorry, this is like a six-month journey for them, a six-month trek. So, the easy solution for that would be just to provide them with some uh, food and water, perhaps up top over here. Like a small water bowl or a couple of small water bowls would hopefully not block their path. I have to put it right down in the middle, eh? Uh, here's what we'll do then. Let's go ahead and pull some of you over. Now, uh, again, some of this stuff is not going to be in a time lapse because uh, some of this stuff is is a lot of minor things rather than uh, one focus project, and then there will be, there will likely be at least one time lapse in today's episode. Uh, there might be more, but 
just just thought I'd give you uh, the heads up. Uh, I know so many of you have been commenting on what you prefer in terms of time lapses versus not time lapses. That's always, like I said, very helpful for me to gauge uh, what I should do more or less of as well. I, like again, I'm I I like listening to feedback because after all, part of the reason, well, the the reason why I make videos is for people to have fun while watching them. And if and if, if something is more fun or less fun, it's good for me to know so I can adjust accordingly. So uh, yeah, some of this is going to be uh, time lapse, some of it is not. Uh, many of you did say that uh, you enjoy uh, both for different reasons, so that's good for me to know. Um, what I'm going to try and do is uh, do some of this management stuff early on because we've kind of been neglecting a big part of the game, which is the actual, you know, like zookeeping elements of it. Like, we, we've had a lot of fun building the, the habitats and stuff, don't get me wrong. That's been a ton of fun, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world, so to speak. But at the same time, we haven't really been taking care of our uh, conservation efforts. We haven't been taking care of our... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, breeding efforts, paying attention to all that. We haven't been trading animals out. So I want to do a lot of that this session uh, because we've uh, we've neglected to do that for for a while now. And it is starting to weigh heavy on my mind. Uh, and plus, that is a big part of the game. And I want to get enough conservation credits in place so that when we do expand to India and things like that, uh, we'll have... Um, you're an extra piece, aren't you? Uh, we'll have the... Uh, uh, the conservation credits to get some of those endangered species at a higher level. If I can get, if I can get a white Bengal tiger, my day, my my year will have been made. So uh, just trying to keep that in mind as I uh, as I move forward with this episode. Uh, hope you guys don't mind the, um, uh, the the slight difference in approach. I suppose is is how I should put it. I gotta try and seal this somehow in a, in a way that'll look nice. Uh, ooh, hmm. something to be said about that something to be said about this kind of a thing I think yeah that looks cool like a little horn I guess a little unicorn horn sure why not let's do that for now let's do that for now and then what I want to do is oh the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to pull the terrain out a little bit and try and get oh come, come on don't don't do this to me <sighs> of course of course it's like this go ahead and delete some of the barrier work over here because Otherwise, it won't let me adjust the terrain. There we go. It's funny coming back to... It's like no, nothing's ever complete. Nothing is ever complete. Which is the reality when it comes to like design work and, and any art-related or, or creative-related fields, I, I find. It's like you have to at one point say, you know what, I'm done. I'm not touching this anymore. Because otherwise, you keep going back to something over and over again. Um, because you... you you want things to be perfect, or as close to perfect as possible. There we go. That's a bit of a plot, like a platform kind of a thing over here. Let's go ahead and get um, long grass up over here as well. There we go. Just like that. This is looking okay. The welcome sign is still looking okay. Yep. Good, good, good. Didn't want to disrupt that too much. Uh, I also actually do want to get our lighting and stuff set up as well, because uh, like I said um, a couple of sessions ago, I think, for now we're just keeping our zoo a daytime zoo, but eventually I would like it to be uh, day-night, because we have a lot of nocturnal animals, and it's just kind of um, strange to me to to not do um, to not do a day-night cycle when we, when we have nocturnal animals. So let's go ahead and put a water bowl up top over here. And we could also put tortoises up here specifically. I'm wondering if I want like small food up here as well. I don't want a large one because it's pretty chunky. But if I get a small one up here, might not be bad. Hmm. Food on either. Yeah, you know, let's do it. Just a small one. Um, I think it's a good idea. And, and another thing that was suggested actually is maybe we make a bit of a um, hard cover over here as well. Just so that there's a little bit of a, of a hiding spot here if it starts to rain when the animals are up here. We can do something like that. We can go ahead and, like, uh, build. This is, like, uh, zen rock balancing going on over here. It's just like, yep. <laughs> just on the tip there. Um, no, no, no. We'll add some supports. I think it'd be, it'd be, it'd be nice. Give some serious verticality to our, to our zoo. Though, if I'm making it a part of their habitat, I should really pull some of this stuff over instead different color, but it's their preferred uh, area. And on the topic of their preferred area, what I might do is to the left where uh, Tortuga Lapagos, where the plaza is, 
Uh, I might make some um, exhibits for tropical uh, animals. Tropical, American. When I say American, I mean America is like the, the two continents. Uh, do, do that over there because then uh, we'll have people coming up there and, and maybe actually using those facilities uh, for, for food and, and drink and whatnot. Because otherwise, again, we're just paying people for no good reason. Mm, not really a fan of how this looks. Not really a fan of how this looks. Go tropical, tropical rocks here. I mean, like this kind of a thing, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how the animals interact with this as well. I don't think there's enough room for them to rest down here anyway. That would do something like that. Like something like that. Sure, let's try it. No harm in trying it for now. Put you around like so. Oh, weird kind of lag there. It just doesn't want to rotate along this axis. There we go. Weird. That was strange. We're fine. Let's go ahead and... Maybe this should have been a time lapse. My apologies. There. I, I don't know if that's enough of a... Um, hiding spot. Go ahead and do that. And go ahead and do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Want to got to make sure that the slope stays slopey. Let's go ahead and hit play. A lot of this is also not going to be uh, paused because I do need to consider the fact that when we pause time, we don't make money. Go ahead and do that. There we go. That's definitely a good covering. That's definitely a good covering. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit play. I want to see uh, what happens over here to the habitat, especially like if they're able to move through it still. Come on now. Let me come on. Just gotta. There we go. Check your movement. Yeah, it looks like you're good, though we do have some escape points now. Oh, what about the bigger... Uh, no, see, you're locked off. Okay, so we do have to smooth this out a little bit. Habitat has become invalid. Yeah, yeah, that's because I haven't, um... Closed this off. Smooth this out, though. I want to see... There we go. And there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and pause it. And now let's close our habitat. Just want to make sure it would actually connect before I went ahead and, and, and did anything else. Okay, so from here, well, rather, edit barrier from there up to here. Come on now. This is always, always fun. Want to like jitters around on the, on the terrain. Because I, I want it to follow the contours. I don't want it to just randomly go about. Where's our other one? Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's get you up here. Sure. Up to there for now. Just gotta like... There we go. Pull you back and around. Make sure these feeders are actually in the habitat so the keepers know to fill it and what to fill it with. There we go. And, oh, almost. We almost had it. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. That should be good. That should be good. And now hopefully those things get filled up and whatnot. And, uh, oh my god, we're getting more offspring. That is what I mean. I really need to consider... The good thing is we only have the two adults. It's Abril and Philippe. And and so we're not getting inbreeding or anything. Because all of these tortoises are just baby tortoises. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, what we did have to worry about here was just the, the food and drink on the way over. So hopefully this will solve that problem. Did we just get another thing accomplished? No, we just got a new one. Breed a new habitat animal. Any habitat animal? Because we're about to... Got a bunch, I can tell you that. All right, back to uh, speed over here. Now, let's go ahead and do a couple other things. So there was actually a great suggestion for the chief beef up over here. Uh, Galapa Grubs was the name suggestion. And actually, you know what? I might swap it out for a different one because we did manage to research the, um, uh, the different eatery over here. Where is, uh, oh, there, is this it? Gulpy, gulpy slush. Food, food, food. Chief beef. Thought we... Thought we already researched the other food stall. Oh, hot dog squad. There we go. There we go. So I could replace this. Just so there's some variety up there. It's not the same store as down there. Let's go ahead and, yeah, demolish you. Galapa Grubs will be the name of the new place. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. Hot dog squad. Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure it's not snapping the, um, the road, the road, the path. Oh, no, okay, looks like it's reachable. Looks like it's reachable. Fair enough. 
Hot Dog Squad. Yeah, they don't have signs. The only Chief Beef and, um... Or actually, I guess that's in construction. Hot Dog Squad. Oh, yeah, okay, we, we got signs and stuff. Oh my god, that's a big sign. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that later. Uh, for now, let's make sure that you are renamed to Galapagrubs. Excellent. We've got, uh, what's this? Still Wolf Rock fighting. Okay, sorry. Just trying to go through, like, one step at a time. Uh, we also had a vet situation, by which I mean one of our vets is being overpaid. Where are you? Trying to get away from me. Ike Haywood, I think it was. I oh, know they're they're all they've all been adjusted. One thing I should check though is um, their happiness with their salary after yeah because they have been trained up a level, so I did have to check that. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of our vendors and make sure that they're. I mean it's looking like the workload is okay now across the board, so that's good. No one's feeling. Oh, a couple of people are feeling a little stressed here. I wonder why that is. I wonder why some of them are feeling stressed out, but others don't really care. All right, so this should be good now. <laughs> I've seen two schools of thought with regards to my positioning of the donation boxes. Some of you have said that I'm going way too hard on them and people will be very happy to travel a couple of steps to drop donations. And others are saying, put more donation boxes down. And I'm not sure which one is the right one, so to speak. So, um, oh my god, look at this crowd. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to pause for a second because there's, there was some adjustments I wanted to make to the tower. But this is crazy. I did not expect this much of a crowd to come up over here. Wow. That's, uh, that, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Now, we did have, from the front over here, these things that didn't get any um, lessons on them. So, let's go ahead and fix you up. I do like that this list is context-sensitive, like proximity-sensitive. Go ahead. Bison, and go ahead. Pronghorn. Looks like we need to actually get a mechanic over here. Barrier status is bad. Call a mechanic. View is not that great. Yeah, we're going to have to figure something out to make sure they're able to come a bit closer this way. This is where we're going to put their food and stuff down. And actually, that reminds me. So I didn't forget to put their um, food and stuff down. Um, I was just like, oh, I'll do it uh, next session. Um, and then this session, I forgot to put their food and stuff down. <laughs> My apologies. Let's go ahead and get their food uh, down in this area, I think. Right, like, let's put you right over there, and let's put another one right over there, because there's quite a few of them. And I can also put some enrichment down. Oh, I guess we don't have any bison food enrichment. We're researching it, but nothing for them just yet. We do have some toys. A rubbing pillar would be nice, perhaps. So I want them to drink water over there, but eat over here is the thing. And we'll have to beautify. Like, this this habitat still needs a lot of work in terms of beautification. Uh, but I figured we should um, you know, just try and do something, uh, so, some other stuff before we just kind of focus down on, on, on one habitat. Also, thanks for pointing out that, yes, the water treatment facility will be able to treat all this water, uh, even if it just touches a little bit of it. So that's, that's good to know. We do need to have visits more often though every six months i think is a good idea because you can see it's 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 getting pretty badly uh hurt some of you were asking why i didn't put the facility below the watchtower it's because the watchtower uh then people coming through the watchtower would just be unhappy um and you know what folks i think we're actually going to dive into our first time lapse so this is getting a lot of love and a lot of action and activity uh but there is a little bit of work i wanted to do over here uh and since it's already getting busy i'm pressed for time on it so yeah time lapse time yeah, this time lapse definitely extends beyond what I was initially anticipating of it. Uh, a lot of customization I do to the tower. Still, it's a big project, so I think it'll be done in phases rather than spending, you know, a seven-hour session on uh, on one. Uh, the first thing I do is try to kind of block off that centerpiece, and then the second thing I do is uh, adjust the ramp over here. It was an excellent suggestion in the comments that why doesn't the uh, wall actually follow the spiral of the staircase, and that way when people... Uh, stop and pretend that they can see the animals. They can actually see the animals. I like the idea not just for its function, but also because I think visually it would be very interesting. So you can see me uh, doing that over here. So I do uh, modify our, our wall to get a bit of a ramp spiral going as well for the walls itself. Uh, again, just want to say that 
I still don't think this is final per se. I still think I'm going to probably go in uh, again and again over multiple sessions, just touch up little pieces. You can see me pausing every once in a while to reconsider my placement, reconsider my options and stuff. Uh, added some more windows to, to view from that side. The other side doesn't have any windows because you can't really stand there. Uh, so I didn't put any like viewing uh, platforms or anything like that. And you can see again over here as well, just trying to uh, spruce it up a little bit. I, I try to balance out how much time I spend on the tower versus what I'm going, like the other stuff I want to accomplish this session. It's so easy for me to get distracted by beautifying one area and then completely ignoring the rest of the park, which uh, right now you can see I'm kind of like considering my options. Like, okay, what, what else do I want to do here today? This feels so incomplete. Um, and then I noticed this giant glaring gap when I forgot to duplicate something, but fix that. Now I'm trying to sort of consider uh, the view from the uh, the rest of the park, like when you approach here, what do you see? Um, and, and that's something I, I consider a bit more later as well. And you can see I was kind of toying around with the idea of roofing there. I want to cover that central area, give it a canopy and protection from rain. Don't quite accomplish that just yet. And then the, uh, the this platform over here, I add a bit more education. I fix up the education as well so that one side is pronghorn antelopes, the other side is bison, and so the speakers can be split up as well. Uh, and then down over here, you can see it's a little haphazard. I apologize for the haphazard nature of this time lapse, uh, but I keep sort of noticing things and then going in to fix the new thing I noticed. Uh, but here, I'm just trying to cap off the uh the the fake viewing angles so to speak uh so just getting these logs in here to block off the views and also to make sure that no child goes you know for a little bit of a skydiving session over here uh just closing off these these drops and again i do think i'll probably be going in later and and doing a uh, more fine-tuned job of it. There was just so much I wanted to accomplish today in today's session that I didn't want to get bogged down by any one thing. Uh, so just starting to like get some things in notionally. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind that. That's typically how I approach most of my like design projects and stuff in life in general. Is like I like to do things um, like I like to get everything to 33% and then go back and get everything to 66% and then back to, you know, so rather than just doing one thing uh, all the way through and then say it's done and then regret calling it finished too early, um, I, I like going back and, and adjusting things, especially as I learn new options or unlock new options in the case of a video game. Here you can see I start to close off the central gap as well, because again, I want to make sure we have no skydiving babies, but I don't really feel happy with how it's coming along and I feel like, you know what, let's, let's leave that for another time. I, I wasn't... I felt like I was going to take too much time bogged down on that. Now, time to name the actual tower itself. And there were plenty of excellent suggestions in the comments. As always, it's really hard for me to choose names because so many of you uh, take the time out to come up with a really clever name or a really cute name. Uh, and I really appreciate it. So do please keep those name suggestions coming. But ultimately, we went with the eagle eye for this one uh, because it was a nice touch. It was a nice connection to like the animal that would be looking at these uh, these bison and the, 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 the antelopes. Uh, it's the eagle uh, it just connected in, in so many nice ways um so again thank you all for all of your name suggestions uh but uh, i hope you don't mind obviously i have to choose one so that means many of them remain unpicked um but yeah i'm, I'm happy with the eagle eye i like the the feeling it evokes, I suppose, of gazing down upon the planes uh, from up on high. You can see I'm kind of like fixing its positioning and stuff so it looks viable from a distance as well. And then I decide, you know, down over here, I think I mentioned this last session uh, or, or in the comments, but I wanted the entrance as well down here to have some signage too. So we go ahead and pull down the same thing. We want to try and keep the branding as similar as possible. Uh, so we get the eagle eye down over here. Fits quite nicely, just barely fits. And I decide, you know what, let's go ahead and see if we can't find this weird leaf shape and uh and and go above and beyond because again that's the that's the name of the game right we try to go above and beyond over here at uh, the elite zoo franchise so i try to make this into an eagle eye and you know what using the hemisphere uh, shape and the leaf shape and just covering off the stem I feel like it does a decent ish job um, I'm, I'm happy enough with it, but I realize, you know, it does need a, a little extra touch, which is the slight little hot spot, the little highlight on the eye, and I'm pretty happy uh, with how that looks. And then finally, making this lower area a bit more educational as well. Good to see so many crowds down here. I might not need to do another exhibit, but uh, definitely got to get the education down over here, get some donation boxes and donation bins, rather. Yeah, really happy with how this is coming along. I, I, I contemplate putting a speaker down there as well, but then I realize if people can't see the animal that they're hearing about, I think they get upset. Uh, so I, I decided not to do that. Then I, I go ahead to name the food court as well. I've got a, a lot of great name suggestions over here. Uh, gonna be calling this 
well, actually, you know what? I end up not doing the lettering because I realize it's going to take me so long. Uh, I need to, like, adjust the spacing over here. So I decide to, to call the time lapse over here, uh, get a couple more of these education boards down on the tower, stay focused over here, but, but this is where we call it as far as this time lapse is concerned. All right, I think that's enough of a time lapse, uh, especially for an episode where I said, I don't think we're going to have a time lapse today. Um, yeah, we've got, uh, again, name picking is one of the hardest things for me because there's so many... Uh, great name suggestions that come through, but we've gone with the Eagle Eye for our tower. Uh, the region itself, I've got a couple of name suggestions set aside, but I haven't been able to decide on one yet because, again, you get so many great suggestions, it becomes hard to kind of just pick one out and be like, yep, that's the one. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, maybe maybe next session. M maybe later this session, I'll finally settle on one on my list that I have on, uh, like set up on my left side over here, but uh, for now, I, I still can't get myself to pick. But uh, hopefully this will work a lot better for our... Uh, Oh, this is so cute. This is like curious little antelope over here. Like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so hopefully uh, this will work nicely. We're seeing some nice crowds there, which is great to see. So we might be able to re... Uh, consider our underground situation over there, which is, I think, the, the thing that was uh, on my mind the most. Let's go ahead and hit play again. Just let time move forward. Keep making some money while we make some adjustments. Uh, I would like to actually, you know what, maybe I should pause it for this path extension because I would very much like to make this path a little bit wider. And I can't remember for the life of me what the width was on some of these. I think eight looks right. Can I just upgrade? No, I can't. Eh? It won't just let me upgrade. Of course. Why, why would it? Why would it? So we're going to go ahead and like remove all of this, right? And yeah, some guests get disappeared, but... I'd rather have, like, a handful of guests here and there get disappeared than have a bunch of guests, you know, magically vanish. Terrain uneven. Yeah, let's just watch this one actually allow me to, um, place my path down. I want to do it all right now and make sure that, uh, it's not going to cause any issues. What do you, why would you, come on, stay up over here with me. Stay up over here with me. Come on, game. It doesn't make any sense for you to want to go down there. <laughs> This path system sometimes, I swear to God. How can I can I turn off slopes at all? No, I can't just say stick to this height, eh? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Cancel that as well. Cancel that as well. Reduce the length here. Maybe that'll do the trick. God, I swear, sometimes. Sometimes this path system. And when I say sometimes, I mean all the time. You know what? I might just undo all of that and just keep keep with what I had earlier. I don't. Don't. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Finally. Oh my god. That was a struggle and a half. So this, I don't think I'd mind as much. A little bit of a thinning over here. Okay. And then same thing over here. So this kind of becomes our, our main road, so to speak. Now here we seem to have some issues. Doesn't want to narrow down, it seems. Why is that game? Train modification failed. Is it because of this? Is it because of that? No, just won't won't allow it. Alright, well, hey, let's go ahead and do... Uh, let's see, 4 meters, was it? Yeah. Oh, now, now it just won't let me connect at all. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, come on now. Come on, don't don't be like that. Don't be like that game. Don't be like that. No, there's some terrain issues over here. Train mod failing over here. All right. Okay. 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 So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Gonna undo all of this. Okay. All right. Okay. Again, I might just not do this, right? If it keeps... Oh, we might have it. We might have it. Don't get too excited. Okay, and what about on this side? Oh, yes. I will accept that. I will accept that. Now, can I actually get this little corner smoothed out if I go ahead and do this? Oh, come on. Come on. Work with me here. Oh, there we go. Nope. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, folks. I know this is painful. For me, too. That's not the button I wanted to press. Okay. It's going to stay like that. 
it's going to stay like that. And let's go ahead and adjust some of these. Okay, now we can hit play, I think. And now let's go ahead and adjust some of these. Shift you over this way. Just crude solutions for now. Go ahead and shift you over this way. Yep. Good stuff. Get you over to here. Hopefully the bins will actually stay properly. Cool. <gasps> Nikedra is about to die of old age. Oh no, Nikedra is about to die of alpha fighting over here. Oh man. She's maintained her alpha status for a while here. It's quite, quite the, quite the boss. She, what did she, did she win that? No, she looks like she's about to die, eh? Man. That's sad. That's sad. Let's, we gotta get this. Oh no, poor puppers had to watch mommy die. That's sad. Getting the vet in here ASAP. Hey, listen, not the time for food. Let's go ahead and clean this up before people see it. It will make them unhappy. Uh, oh my god, Kiana is about to mate. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Did, was that the mating? Was that it? Offspring due May of year 16. Wow, okay. Um, we, yeah, there's so much going on. This is why, so many of you have been pointing out, it's like, yeah, you spent a lot of time paused. This is kind of why. I just sometimes feel like there's... The moment you... The, it, it's basically like you either spend the time to do a lot of fancy stuff uh, with um, habitats and stuff, but you have to stay paused, or you, yeah, don't do any fancy things, and then you can stay unpaused, uh, and all this stuff will happen, and, and, and you can keep up with it. But I, 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 there's no way for me to keep up with the habitats as well as the, um, you know, happenings around the zoo... Uh, I find, unless I pause every so often. Which is why I guess it's kind of slow going. Just a little bit here and there. Sometimes we get a little bit of slow down, I suppose. Go ahead and nudge you over a little bit. Seal this gap, please. Close, but no cigar. Come on. Millimeters. There we go. Perfect. Just wanted to clean that up before it drove me absolutely wild. Even over here. This is just like, this is unacceptable. Go ahead and push you down that way. Okay, go ahead and get rid of you and you. Maybe even you. Yeah. And we can just attach you like so. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. And then here, we'll go ahead and rotate these guys. Rotate you guys. And you. Come on now. The, it's like the different tools don't communicate with each other. Okay, group mode. There, there, there. There. Cool. Perfect. What I wanted. Get you like that. And get you to connect over there. Excellent. Excellent. Cool. Good enough there. This is going to be a bit messier. Probably do... Oh no, you know what? I could do this. Get you and you to all move down there perfect there we go this will this will be a lot better for the future this is just future proofing our um our uh, main entryway over here and we just have to keep in mind our circumstances i suppose go ahead and move you 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 and oh, no you're fine actually move you over this way cool all right perfect so let's um like i said there's a lot of management stuff to do so maybe i should uh i should start doing some of that management stuff, because otherwise it's never going to get done. Um, Alright, we need to trade some of our animals out. Let's take a look at our wolves. One just passed away. Uh, we've got plenty of wolves. Let's take a look at our animals over here. Uh, we can filter by species, thank god. Alright, lots of spiders. So let's take care of the spiders first. Uh, of the spiders, we can assume that... Angel here. Angel, Angel. I always get that wrong. Uh, and... Either Violetta or Pedad are the parents. So let's go ahead and all of you. All of you are going to move to the Trade Center. Okay. Uh, Yeah, that sounds good to me. And then we're going to go back to, not animal trading, but over here. Oh, is it not? Would it, 
Oh, there we go. Trade Center Exhibit 30. Cool. So we are going to just rename them ever so slightly into Dad and Mom. This is something you've been suggesting for a while and I've just been holding off of. I can always use the years, but this is just a quick reference point for me. I'm going to try and keep that in mind. So Kiana is about to be a mom. So let's go ahead and mark her. And one can assume that Watkins is the dad. Can't be Embe over here or however that's uh, pronounced. Uh, so, okay. That's an exciting situation to be in. Over here, we have quite a few babies. What's wrong with you? Oh, you know what's the problem over here is? Go ahead and move you over here. The problem over here is uh, some of these seem to be blocking our animal's movement. I'm going to go ahead and move these over a little bit. Oh, that's weird. I, I do want to have the support so it looks realistic, but at the same time, if my animals keep teleporting away, then that's, you know, not really working for me. Go ahead and do that. Hopefully that's good enough. It doesn't pierce through the top. No? Okay, good. Yeah, hopefully that's good enough. It's adorable seeing the babies up here. Alright, cool. So that's that, and then what else have we got going on? Um, so all of our spiders are being taken care of. Do we get rid of some of our boys? We've got so many baby tortoises, but they're happy. They're still relatively young. I mean, some of them are on the older side. We could get rid of... Like, let's see. Um, if I want to take a look at you. Do we have... We don't have any, like, gold tier... Died of old age. That is quite sad. Ontario is about to go as well. I wonder if we... I mean, we shouldn't release Ontario uh, to the wild. That is a terrible thing to do right now. Right? Like... I hope we get... Okay, if I, if I click release animal into the wild... Okay. Conservation status doesn't really help me. Fertility gene, fertility remaining, lifespan remaining. I mean, do we do we give Ontario the glory? Like, you know, he lives his, his latter years out in the wild happy, roaming free, um, perhaps in Ontario by the Canadian Shield or something. I think, um, hmm. I think, yeah, I think what we'll do is, oh, this hurts. I think we'll release Ontario. Now, I know typically you want to release them when they're at prime age, so Ontario is a little bit on the older side. Uh, you, you know what? I'm not actually, he's gonna, he's gonna get ripped to shreds. He's already been de alpha over here. Oh, it hurts. I don't know what to do. No, fine. Let him live his glory days out in the wild. Go, Ontario. Roam free. Roam free. Oof. Oof, that hurts. Didn't know what to do. Um, but, okay, so that's that's our first animal that we've uh, traded out. Um, now, what have we got over here? No pregnancies among the pronghorn antelope. Oh, Waylon looks adorable. Do we really not have any? I wish it could show, um, like, gold tier and stuff. Now let's also get you labeled here. So you're going to be mommy and you're going to be... Oops. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't remember their name. I'm going to just... Uh, I'm, I'm going to look back at the recording and get the name from there. Or, or maybe we'll, we'll, we'll get a name suggestion. I've been getting a lot of name suggestions and I will implement them... Um, Soon. I, I think I mentioned that already. I'll implement them soon. Uh, now, Shanita and Rhea here. They're they're decent tier animals. Not old enough to release into the wild yet. Of our wolves, in our wolf pack, got a couple of adults. We've got, let's see, Abigail, Eremias, Lucas. Now, Lucas is our alpha. Lucas is a prime specimen, but Eremias here, not so prime. Perhaps we can release him into the wild. Well, I mean, before we do that, just say goodbye, right? Didn't get to say goodbye to Ontario. Um, but yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Eremias, we can release you. We want to have, we still want to have prime specimen coming through to uh, attract audiences, audiences, guests and whatnot. Sorry, this sh this is just absolutely adorable. There's something about this. I mean, are they mommy and daddy? Uh, sorry, I mean, uh, father and child or mother and child in this case. Abigail, Waylon's going to be another prime specimen, so that's good to see. But, um... All the puppers are so cute. Oh, I can't help myself. This is another thing that slows me down, is I can't help myself to take a look at their, like, bushy tails and... Beautiful faces. Look at how nice... Oh my god, I just can't get over it. I just can't get over it. Um, sorry, so, let's go ahead and... Aramiah's here. Staring me down. Let's release you into the wild. Couple conservation credits. They're not very rare or anything, so... Or not rare, but endangered or anything, so... 
Go ahead and release into the wild. Just like that, Aramias is gone. Uh, we should actually change this. In loving memory of Ontario. I should get a mausoleum. Not a mausoleum, but like a, a memorial or something set up somewhere. The wolf rock pack. There we go. Let them grow a little bit larger, hopefully. All right, so that's that taken care of. I think the tortoises we're fine with for now. Let's keep these tortoises as they are. Uh, I don't think they're too upset or anything about their um, social size. Yeah, they're, the adult population is just two, so they don't mind at all. Um, all right, this is cool. This is cool. Wolves are having a good time. Y'all are having a good time. Uh, we do need to expand Wolf Rock a little bit, but now it's less of an urgent matter because, again, they've got their uh, space adjusted. Um... Oh, what's this? They've changed how this is represented. I guess we're at the bottom tier of their requirements. Fair enough. People are having a good time, hopefully. What have we got over here? Nakedra died. Yes. Um, vet is en route. There we go. That's that. High amounts of litter. I guess I need to add more bins still. Thing is, you can't... So, you, I don't think you can group these. Some of you suggested group these together, but I don't think you can. Oh, our pronghorn antelope is about to mate. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and put you over here. Go ahead and put you over here. Oh. Damn. Missed their mating. Aw. So cute. Look at them. I love when they wiggle their ears and stuff. There's just like these little, little animations that they've like got spot on. It just breathes life into these animals. And look at this. We're getting proper crowds coming up over here. Are we getting donations though? Little bit. Little bit. Not too much just yet. I think once we, like, shrink this area a little bit, the animals will be more inclined to, to come here and and uh, and be more easily seen. Because, again, I think this is too large an area, so we could very easily reduce their, um... Yeah, see, like, they're not... They're not liking the, uh... Mechanic being requested. They're not liking the viewing experience, and I understand that. That's That's, that's fair. Do we have any mechanics in America's North? We do, but they are high workload. Go ahead and train you, and let's go ahead and get uh, some work over here. Can I select all of you? I can. Don't need you in this. Don't need you either. Oops. There we go. Um. Really, I can't duplicate you? That's what I mean when when the when the different tools don't talk to each other. Like I should be able to duplicate this as you know. Now I can save it as a blueprint, I guess. Let's see. Um, it, uh, it, that's not the right thumbnail. Come on, go ahead and get you. Let's deselect you and you. Do something like that. I hope this isn't like shared on Steam. Which imagine that it's like, oh yeah, Party Elite shared this as a blueprint. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Name your blueprint. Uh, small, um, small what? Small uh, staff area covered in logs and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Um, set a tag. Let's make it. I, I is it just like a staff option over here? Doesn't seem to be. I'll just go with other. It's a weird... Anyways, okay, sure. Uh, create a blueprint. Please don't, like, share it to... <laughs> to, to, to the workshop or anything. That would, that would be... Silly. My blueprints. There we go. Covered in logs and stuff. What a descriptor. There. So I can kind of, like, do this sort of a thing. Uh, where I can... Sorry, I changed its elevation there. That was a mistake. So I can go ahead and set you up over here. And have have the the paths coming through, and this will make it a bit easier for people to um, take care of the bison and other animals that'll be here and here and even here, perhaps. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's a that's a decent location to put it. Sure, right down like so. Vanessa, ooh, promiscuous antelopes over here. Promiscuous antelopes. So I knew a couple of antelopes that wanted to run away and get married without their, uh, without their parents' permission, but, uh, they couldn't. Do you know why? Because they can't elope. Oh, ho, 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 ho. please don't unsubscribe. Folks, I can't help myself. Uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, the path set up over here. Um, oh god, that was genuinely terrible, wasn't it? 
<laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead and get. Uh, oh no, that that that's not ideal. Let's go ahead and flatten the train. Oh, that was with flattening the train, eh? Oh, that's nasty. What if I do something like this? Come on now. Come on now. Okay, I'll 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 accept that if if the game will. Malform path. I don't think the game will. Has been in box for too long. Well, okay, Aria, unbox animal. What is going on here? Animal's thirsty. Well, they just need. It's raining. Why are you thirsty? No, they just need the the keepers to arrive. Say hello to these guys here. Get my conservation credits. Bison's about to mate. Oh my god. These guys. This is what I mean by I need to pause. Let's go ahead and call keeper here. Not being taken care of. Let's go ahead and call the keeper over here as well. Man, this is mating season. I guess. All these animals are mating now. They actually don't have any hard shelter or anything. I mean, I guess they can hide under this. You know what? Let's go ahead and get some bedding over here. Uh, extra large, please. There we go. That's something. I need to add, add more. Oh my god, Abril's about to have uh, offspring as well. I need to add more of a sheltered area for them. And I need to get... Uh, oh, these guys I feel bad for. They gotta go all the way back into the food court to get uh, cover. To get umbrellas, rather. I, I need to build a canopy over here as well. That is part of the plan. But again, like I said, I, I want to balance my um, time lapses with my not time lapses. So bear with me uh, with regards to... Uh, with regards to that uh, situation, let's call it. Okay, now surely... Is this really... It's all just elevated, eh? That explains the problem. Can I do that? Is that on the surface? Looks about right. Staff path. There we go. I think that's I think that was the problem. Okay. Get you out this way. Rotate you over, pull you up this way. No. Let's undo that. Go ahead and hook you up. What did I actually do down over here? I'm starting to forget what the uh, the layout was in our original one. It's kind of yeah, went by and then dropped the stuff off afterwards, eh? I I wish it was the one thing that makes me uh, nervous. I guess is the word is I can't tell. If the game accepts, um, like, if the path just goes by a thing, like, does that count as accessible? I guess there's only one way to find out, and I might as well find out like that. Reduce your length. Let's go up this way. Like, it would make sense, right? Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and pull you. Mm, like so. Come on now. Your, your roads, your paths, come on. You know you can connect. You know you want to. I, I can see the spot there. Where was... Oh, that... <sighs> Just... Come on, game. It, just, it looks so ridiculous. It kills me. It kills me. Can I... Uh, what about if we change our e junctions? Oh god, that looks terrible. Somehow that looks worse. If I do that, and then can I connect you? No, I can't. Okay. If I do this. Oh. Yeah, it's weird too. Some of the shortcuts are strange. Like, I'm holding down Z right now. That seems to be helping. Okay, I think that helped. Now we'll have to find out if these things are accessible or not. That's gonna be... I don't know, that's, that's just another thing to figure out. Well, we'll see. Let's go ahead and hit play again. Now hopefully staff and keepers are all able to go there. This thing needs a mechanic. 
urgently. Inspector is arriving in six months. Lots of stuff going on. Animals are hungry. Got a keeper hut right next to them. Oh my god, these crowds are wild. <gasps> we have people up here. We have people up here. And for some reason, they're choosing to eat up there rather than down here. Okay, fair enough. I will, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. And here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and... No, that's not what I meant. I meant to duplicate this. It, it's just, I'm, I'm glad to see that people are actually interacting with the structures as I've intended them. Every once in a while. Well, close. That's supposed to be for sunny eating. Down here is supposed to be for, uh... For, for rainy eating. Go ahead and duplicate you. Pull you up. Go ahead and do like a rotation or something like that. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm obviously going to go in here and adjust this. This is not... This is nowhere near perfect. There we go. And what I can probably do is... Can I... Yeah, I can select a bunch of these. And I'd like to like just kind of like flatten this out, maybe. Give it a curved look rather than just a straight slope. There we go. Perfect. Well, using that word... A little too freely, I think. Nope. Oh, cancel that. Go ahead and select a bunch of you. There we go. There we go. I mean, this I'm doing temporarily. I'll, I'll clean it up later uh, with a time lapse. Maybe next episode or something. I'm just glad to see people are using this uh, canopy area. You know, I could probably delete a big part of this. Don't need these, for example. And then this we can copy over. Get a support structure over here. Yeah. That looks about right. Yeah, sure. For now that works. Okay, cool. That's great. People are eating over here. I wonder if they'll put their umbrella umbrellas away now that they're actually below a canopy. Uh, I need some more bins up here, I guess. Go ahead and get, uh... It's good to see that people can fit here. That's another thing that was concerning me. You up there. Go ahead and put you up over here. Look at that. People are actually coming up here. That's awesome. I am so happy to see that. I am so happy to see that. The rain stopped, it seems. Yeah. Now, what's the deal over here? Animals are hungry. Well, there's food there. I guess this top bowl hasn't been fed, uh, filled up. I'm pretty sure staff are still able to uh, go back and forth. And now it's snowing. <laughs> and now it's snowing. And we're almost at a... Th ah, there we have it! I don't know if that was the first time we crossed the threshold, but that was a thousand visitors. A thousand visitors. Really? That's not a milestone? I guess not. Damn. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we have heating up over here? I don't think we do. Thought we did, but... Just to make sure... Go ahead and get you... Up over here. Eat this area up. Nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. There we go. Another great use of these uh, canopies. Perfect. That should make this a lot more comfortable. This area is comfy. I need to maybe heat up this path area, and I wanted to get a canopy up over here as well. Um, these Now, these guys are not going to be having a fun time. This cannot be the type of climate they like, is it? Really? No way. There, that, that, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So let's go ahead and get... Um... What was that roar? Oh my god. Go ahead and add you over there. What is your climate preference? Where are we? Where are we? Zero to 40. Okay, so they don't mind zero. But. Let's go to 20. I think is a, is a reasonable kind of climate to have. Both inside and outside. We're warm up over here. We're going to add some heat over there. That should cover us a little bit. Go ahead and add... Some more warming. I want to, like, hypothetically, would this 
electrocute everybody. Oh, and actually this reminds me, many of you, so initially it was suggested that putting the grass below, um, below water makes it look brighter. But I do agree, it looks a little strange to see grass growing underneath. It's not like it's algae, it's 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 straight up grass. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that with sand. And give it more of a beachy kind of a look. I should get a heater in here as well. Um, where is my habitat? Yeah, let's get a heater in here as well. Easy to kind of hide them. Again, 20 degrees I think is a nice... I think 20 degrees is a nice amount. There we go. Write that out, and then we'll go ahead and get another one somewhere along here, and we'll put another set of reeds or something to hide it. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully y'all are going to get a bit comfier. This is great. I'm glad y'all are watching from, from this slope, but... But, I do need, um... Animals stressed. Animals hungry. Food's not coming through. Let's go ahead and build. I may have been a little too ambitious with our, uh... With this habitat here. Just, it, 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 it's size and everything is, uh... Making it a bit harder to manage. And I do have keepers and stuff assigned. They're just not coming through with the... Have they not come through with the food at all? Oh, more offspring from, from the spiders. Great. Bet research complete. High amounts of litter. Yeah, I need to fix that. What research has been completed here? More bison research. Great. That'll allow us to get some um, uh, enrichment and stuff going on. Have we said hello to you? We have. Have we said hello to you? Not yet. There we go. Animal stress. Low welfare. Okay, let's see what the deal is here. Nutrition. Social. Ooh, what's up with social? Hmm. I'm guessing it's because of the what the weather was. Not enough short grass, too much soil. Not enough short grass, too much soil. Alright, let's see. I can't see where there's any soil over here. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of short grass, make you a little bit happier. There we go. Are you... Oh, you're a poop. I was like, do we have a baby over here? We did not. We did not have a baby over here. Some short grass over here. There we go. I'm genuinely uncertain where we have soil. And Abdul has had offspring once more. Alright, this is, uh... There we go, that's enough. Yeah, I need to figure out where the soil is. Oh, I need to add more soil. Okay. Okay. We're just misread a long time. Let's go ahead and add some soil there. Go ahead and reduce your size a little bit. Add some soil here, perhaps. Oh, we're about to have more officer. Okay, hold on. Th th like, this is what I mean. A lot happens very quickly. <laughs> go ahead and reduce your intensity to about 70%. Add a little bit of soil over here. Let's hope that doesn't take too much short grass away. I think, uh, I, I think the bison and pronghorn exhibit will need another, um... We'll need another, uh, time-lapse. Add some soil over here. Drops the short grass by too much. Do some short grass, like, right over here. And over here, okay. Let's do that, and then let's get some soil. Over here. I guess you'd like to eat close to, to, to grass, no? Hmm. Figure that out. Do like this kind of a thing as well. Near near the river, I guess, kind of makes sense. You know what? I think this needs to be a time lapse, if I'm completely honest. I, I think the animal welfare for the bison and the pronghorn, I, I'm not doing a good enough job of it. I think they need a lot more work. Now, the question becomes, where? okay, where is the keeper hut over here? You're the keeper hut. Can people not get in here? Inefficient. Why are you inefficient? No, I don't want... There. I want to make sure... 
these things are actually working. Because honestly, it's starting to get painful. That looks like it worked. That looks like it worked. If we could just get Keeper to come up there. Want a habitat? Yeah, I gotta figure this out. I might need to. I might need to just restructure this entire thing uh, from scratch and, and and see what the deal is over there. Now, Tinbull is about to have offspring. Not laying down like that. I hope. Maybe though. Oh, I wonder. I wonder how many they, they actually get. And that's the thing. Once they start having offspring, that's when we're going to see uh, the entire area get a lot more use. Because they have what? How much do they have? One to two. Fair enough. So as long as we can keep uh, their like social circle the right way as, as it's supposed to be, we'll be fine. They're starving. They're starving. Get these animals some food. Well, can you not ford the river? There's this path over here that I was hoping would be wide enough for a keeper to go through. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm mistaken. I need to get a keeper in here, though. I've called one. Three alerts, of course. Keeper on route. The mechanic was able to get here, so the barrier has been repaired. And I just want to check really quickly. Work zones. Work zone America's North. America's North. Has this included. Yes. One staff room. 18 buildings. Okay. Okay, and then staff itself, do we have keepers in America's North? We just have the one. So maybe I get a second one. High workload. I guess that's just it. I mean, I could, I could purchase another keeper. Get another keeper right here. You. Go ahead and drop your salary a little bit. <laughs> and... America's North, and hopefully you'll take care of them right away. Uh, either way, there's a lot going on right now, folks. There is a lot going on right now. Uh, some good progress, I think, today. Uh, we saw, let's see, I mean, hopefully these tortoises uh, will get these fe uh, feeding bowls and stuff filled up. I might need to get rid of one, because again, I think what the, uh, the keepers do is they see the population and fill accordingly. Uh, and yes, they fill enrichment first, and then they fill the uh, the bowls and stuff. So I need to figure this out. Maybe I need to get rid of one of the, the feeding areas on one side, or maybe when the new set of babies come through, it'll be okay. But uh, I'm starting to get a little worried about uh, the, the tortoises not being... I, they're okay. They're doing okay, but this is this is not working out for us. Nice to see Tortuga Galapagos getting some use as well. I think the variety helped a lot. Um People who think this is too busy end up going there. Uh, we did manage to trade out some of our wolves. And what's the deal with our bears? Are the bears doing okay now? They look like they're doing okay. We haven't we haven't looked at the bears in a long time. Old baby bear is so cute. This is daddy bear with his little claw marks there. Baby bear is just like confused at mommy getting boxed up every so often. And mommy bear here is just I think a little tired of the babies constantly nagging her. Uh, anyway, looking good. Oh, buddy over here taking a little swim. They're so cute. They're so cute. And then we had, let's see, I just want to check what the situation is down over here by our wolves. We'll probably need some new toys and stuff as well. This is really busy, which is great to see. Got to add some more food stalls and drink stalls down over here. People are buying balloons. They're buying all sorts of stuff. Coming down the stairs over here as well. There is litter over here. This area needs, I think, more bins and stuff. Like we're seeing some use, but it feels like maybe we need some more bins down here. Because, yeah, people are animals sorry i get really annoyed when people litter it drives me absolutely up a wall especially when bins are nearby especially when bins are nearby but and drop you over here perhaps god come on use these bins oh what was that use these bins damn it okay uh so yeah this area is looking really busy which is really cool and as we saw earlier as well our, uh, our watchtower was seeing a fair bit of action as well. This is disgusting. Oh my god. Have you no manners? Were you not raised right? There we go. And there we go. That'll hopefully help. Ugh. Go ahead and move you a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so hopefully that'll help clean this area up. Ugh, this is disgusting. 
Absolutely disgusting. Okay, well, I'm glad I spotted it. I wonder if I can actually... Nah, I can't put them down on curved paths, and I can't put them down up over here, can I? Nah, that's too bad. Oh, what about up top? Yeah, we need some bins up over here, clearly. We need some bins up over here. Where is, um, yeah. Get you up over there. Absolute monsters coming to this zoo. Just didn't realize how many, um, <laughs> how, how, how much uh, trash there was going to be, I guess. Got a caretaker in here. And you, buddy. Drop your, nope, let's not. And you're going to be America's North as well. Just want to check that our new vet, or new caretaker, keeper, sorry, America's North, yeah. And you are going to habitat. Which habitat? This habitat? Excellent. That's exactly what I need you to do right now. Okay, fantastic. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, I was doing a little summary tour over here. Yeah, we got a decent crowd up over here. We actually got a pretty decent crowd. A little bit of donation going on over there. Not so much over here. Now, the, the thing is, these donations are going to go higher as soon as we have babies and as soon as this gets a bit smaller. I think I overdid it. I think I made this too large. Uh, so we got to make this a bit smaller. And um, and I think that'll make the, uh, the Eagle Eye a lot more of an interesting viewing platform and we'll be getting a lot more donations and stuff from, from up here as well. Folks, this is going to be where I call it a session, though. I hope you enjoyed this one. Are you just rubbing your butt up against this thing? I mean, you're supposed to, I suppose. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this session. It was a bit of a frantic one, if I'm completely honest. Um, for myself, I mean, there was so many alerts and stuff, and I'm starting to get worried about all of my animals across the board. And we lost a loved one in uh, Nakedra, which is always a little sad. Uh, so, you know, F in chat, I suppose, to pay your respects. Or F in, F in the comments to pay your respects to our beloved animals. Um folks if you did enjoy you know what to do let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below as always all your thoughts are welcome in the comments as well give me your feedback give me your suggestions give me your input a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis you keep us alive and running smoothly and a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching until next time cheers